Hey, Martin here. Today we're excited to announce Remnote 1.17 with Remnote AI to make your learning more efficient, effective, and fun. We've added AI flashcard generation, AI tutor chat, image to text conversion, flashcard insights, AI grading, multiple choice explanations, and even more. Let's jump right into it. First, you can now AI generate flashcards directly from any text, PDF, or web page. First, go to a document in Remnote and paste in some text. After pasting it in, Drag your mouse to select the text that you want to generate cards from and press the new Create AI Cards button on the pop-up here. You'll see that the cards immediately appear on your screen. They're displayed in the same format as in the editor here, where each bullet is its own flashcard. Individual cards can be enabled or disabled by checking this box, and you can customize them in a variety of ways. First, you can choose what kind of cards you want, from questions, which are the single line ones like this, multi-line, which go onto multiple lines, closes, which are fill in the blanks, like this one here, definitions, such as the definition of mitochondria, and descriptors, which are these terse, quick questions asking you, for example, what the purpose of the mitochondria is. If, for example, you only want the close fill in the blanks, you can just go and uncheck the others here, and you'll see that the system automatically starts generating new flashcards for you, letting you watch as they're written in real time. Let's re-enable the different types here, and then make another adjustment with the box down here. I can specify any change or any focus, style, etc. that I want just by typing it in. For example, maybe I want the cards to be more technical and specific. If I press adjust cards here, they will automatically be rewritten with the style or focus that I want. When you're done, you can save the cards and they will appear immediately in your editor. These are just normal Remnote flashcards, so you can go ahead and delete ones that you decide you no longer want, edit them, customize them, and really make them yours. We view AI-generated flashcards as a really efficient way to generate the first draft of your cards, but do make sure that you read through them and adjust any language that you dislike or try to add more connections to other ideas in your head. You can also generate cards directly from PDFs and web pages. For a PDF, go to Create and then Upload your PDF. Once uploaded, you can go to any section that you want to generate cards from, select the text in there, and again, just press the Create AI Cards button within your PDF. To generate cards from web pages, first search for and install the Remnote Clipper, and then open it on any page. After you open the Clipper side panel, you can then just select text on any web page itself and press the AI Generate Cards button. You'll then be able to generate cards directly in Remnote here in the same way. Now, what if you generate a card but don't fully understand the idea behind it? Or what if you're learning something and want to drill down deeper into the idea? For that, we've added an AI Tutor Chat directly in Remnote. The tutor can see your current bullet and flashcard to help you quickly ask questions about them. For example, let's say that I want to learn more about how the mitochondria uses aerobic respiration here. You can now just type slash explain on any bullet and the edge hat on the right will automatically open and begin explaining the idea. Here, you'll see that we automatically include formulas, diagrams, and images, and then you can immediately begin asking questions about it. For example, I could drill down into asking what ATP is, or I could use one of the automatically suggested questions and just click on one of those directly. You can type very informally with the chat here because it has the context of your editor. For example, if I click on aerobic respiration here, you can see that that context is automatically being provided to the tutor. So if I just ask it what or explain or something, then you can see that it automatically understands what I'm talking about. There's no need to switch between different tools and risk potentially losing your flow or getting distracted. For any message, you can then go click on any term that you want to understand at a deeper level. If I click glucose here, I'll see an explanation, an image of it, mnemonics, including etymology, and a catchy phrase to help me remember it, as well as a link to the full Wikipedia or AMBUS article. Additionally, I can go and generate flashcards directly for any response just by pressing the Make Flashcards button. Once flashcards are generated, I can save them to my notes in one click, and I'll both see them on the notes document on the left, as well as I can edit them directly in the AI chat here. The AI Tutor also automatically appears while practicing flashcards. If you ever need help or have a question, just press the AI Tutor button here. The Tutor, again, automatically has context of the card that you're on. So you can just ask it to explain or ask it any more specific question than you have. Deeply understanding what you're learning is the foundation of any effective spaced repetition practice, and being able to immediately drill down into any confusions has been really useful in our testing. Next, we've added the ability to AI convert images to text in one click. If you go to any document and paste in an image, you can now go to the button here and then press AI Convert to Text. After just a moment, you'll see that the text streams in and then appears underneath the image in your document. It automatically will have headers, 
formatting, indentation, and everything that you need to immediately then use these in your notes or even immediately generate cards from them. Again, just by dragging to select and then press create AI cards here. Once the cards are ready, you can just save them directly to your notes and they'll go right underneath your image. This should work for handwritten notes, pictures of blackboards, and even math, where if I paste in this math here and convert it, you can see we automatically get nicely formatted math expressions of Bayes' theorem here. We've also added a new version of the AI image occlusion that should be significantly more accurate. If you paste in an image which has labels like this that you want to test yourself on, you can just go to the top right and press Generate Cards with AI. You'll see that the new boxes should perfectly select out each individual label, ignore any titles at the top or copyright stuff like this, and the text is automatically being transcribed and saved to the image in the background. So for example, if I search for the aorta, you'll see that this image is appearing here in the search and opening back up when I search for that word. We've also integrated this with a new and improved AI grading system on your flashcards. While practicing, you can enable the type in your answer AI grading feature from the three dot menu in the top right, and then checking this box here. You can enable it for any individual card or an entire document or folder. After enabling, you can now type in your answer, in this case, the superior lina cava, and it will automatically grade you against the words that are either in the image or in the text. If you get it wrong, for example, if we say that this here is the aorta, then you'll get automatic feedback from the AI tutor telling you about what the right parts are as well as what the wrong parts are and how you can maybe differentiate or resolve any confusions that you might have had. We've also added AI voice typing. In the queue, you can go click on the microphone on the right here and speak in your answer. You can see that it's automatically transcribing what I say. And if I say the word done, it will automatically submit my answer and then grade it with the AI feedback. In this case, I didn't actually answer the question. So it's explaining the answer to me as well as explaining what that idea is so that I can help to understand it at a deeper level. I can again just say the word done here and will automatically go to the next card and then just keep on learning. If you want, you can also enable the text-to-speech feature here to have it automatically read out cards to you and then you can just speak them back for a totally hands-free experience. For now, the voice typing only works in Google Chrome, but we're hoping to bring it everywhere soon. Even if you're not using type and answer or the AI grading here, it's often very useful to see broader context on the back of your flashcards. We've added a new feature called Flashcard Insights that automatically provides you information and insights into your flashcard on the back. For example, if we go to practice this question here, then once we reveal the answer, we'll automatically see some explanations on the back for why this idea is true, as well as some broader context. If you want to drill down further into any of those ideas, you can then just again open the AI chat tutor on the right, and it will immediately begin explaining the idea to you and give you an opportunity to ask any more specific questions. There are a few different kinds of flashcard insights. For dates, we've added an automatic timeline that shows you the surrounding context of events before and after the one that's on your card. Insights are automatically selected based on what's most useful. So for dates, you'll see the historical timeline, and then in this case, some broader context about World War II. If you have a list, we'll show you a mnemonic acronym to help you remember the list more easily. For multiple choice cards, we'll automatically show the flashcard insights on the back of the corresponding answer that you choose. If you get it wrong, we'll explain why and tell you what the right answer is. And if you get it right, we'll drill down into the right answer in even more detail. Again, if you're confused, you can ask a follow-up question right with this button here, and we'll automatically have context for the card that you're talking about. We've also made a number of improvements to the tab completion feature for writing flashcards. First, the tab completion feature can now see the part of any PDF that's visible on your screen. For example, this paper here is talking about a system called Giraffe, which is a specific machine learning system that they designed. If we ask it, what is Giraffe? We'll see that we get a response that's specific to this context, pulling text directly from the paper, rather than talking more generally or abstractly about a giraffe. The tab completion should also be even faster and more reliable than in the past, and it still works with all single line, multi line, and multiple choice cards. All pro users have a thousand AI credits per month to use these AI features. We've also added an extra pro plus AI plan that has 20,000 AI credits per month for users who want to use the AI card creation, chat, grading, etc., at even higher levels. You can upgrade to this plan in one click directly in RemNote, and it automatically uses all of our different AI providers, which use a mix of powerful as well as optimized models. 
we've designed these features to be as optimized as possible so that we can give you as many credits and uses as we can. Many of the features, especially the AI card creation though, are quite hungry in terms of credits because we want the output cards to be really good. If you're on the AI Plus Pro plan, your usage per month should be effectively unlimited for any reasonable use. And we're currently providing the credits to you at the same cost as our underlying AI providers without us adding any extra charge on top. Finally, we've added a ton of other improvements and small polish since our 116 release. We've added the new Insight pop-up, which automatically underlines technical words in your editor and queue and lets you immediately see the explanation, mnemonics, and Wikipedia and Amboss for them. We've built out a totally new on those page, which has a timeline view, full page search, and easier manipulation. We've released the new Remno Clipper, which lets you easily capture notes and write your own notes on web pages, as well as generating those cards. We've added a new card clustering feature, which lets you create cards that are tested together in your queue. For example, if I have these cards here, I can just type slash cluster on the bullet under which they're indented. If I then go to practice them, you can see that all four of the bullets are going to be tested here together. And after I review one card, I can still see the context from the prior cards before it, which remain on my screen. This works with forward backwards, multi-line, closed cards, all the different card types. And if you indent them, then it'll work as well. We've also released a new faster desktop updater, a total redesign of settings, and just thousands of other small improvements, bug fixes, and performance enhancements. We're very excited about these new AI features to accelerate your learning, but our number one priority does remain keeping Remnote fast, polished, and stable. We're excited to see how you use this first batch of Remnote AI features. Please send us your feedback, and happy learning!